Good afternoon everybody, um, hello, welcome to our Sunday edition of Face our Simple Stamping Facebook Live. Um, I'll just hang on a little bit before I, before I waffle too much, let's let a few people crack, um, join us. So, yes, it's been a, we're, we're off out this evening again, we, we, we had people over last week for Sunday, which is why we did, we did it a little bit earlier, and we're off over to my mum's again tonight for dinner, so we're, um, we'll have a reason why we're doing this early tonight as well, so, um, I hope some of you can join us, um, Okay, got Joey watching. That's good. So this is working. We've got a new setup now. So again, we're, we're we're trying different things with the cameras and so on. So let us know what it sounds like, what the picture quality is like in the comments below. Because if you do, to me it looks okay, but it'd be great if you can give us some feedback as well. So I'd really appreciate that. So right, okay. Well, we crack on. Um, and obviously a lot of you can do watch this on the catch up and the replay um okay good thank you joe it's lovely all right so what we're going to do today is i am going to work we'll do a couple of projects actually they're very the cards are going to be very similar but i'm going to show you this at what this is like um so a bit of a glare there um using the amazing life stamp set here um it's also to keep in theme with a little challenge which we've got going on, which is for birthdays as well and simple stamping. So which is another thing which is, is uh, this is gonna this is gonna hit. But it is gonna be really, really simple. Um but I think they're quite nice as well and I like the colours and just using some papers, ink and stamps. Alright. So as I say, I'm gonna be using the Amazing Life stamp set here and I'm gonna be using the Life's Too Short to Say No to Cake. Very, very good. Saying I agree with that a lot. Um, unfortunately too much sometimes and the cake stamp and these lovely little little accents here as well so it's going to be on page 28 of the catalogue of the um side of the spring summer brochure catalogue even and it's this set right here hi sandra you're right so we're going to be using the Amazing Life stamp set here and we're not going to be using the dies because we're going to be keeping this simple but it does actually coordinate with the rectangle stitch framelit dies as well which obviously these dies will coordinate with anything you use but if you buy this stamp set and you buy these dies together you can get them with a 10% discount which is at 47.50 which is perfect because then at 47.50 you get to choose a item out of the celebration catalog so for every 45 pound you spend remember during celebration between now and obviously the end of march you get to choose an item out of this catalog which is the 45 pound for every 45 pound purchase so just bear that in mind if you're doing some shopping um that if you buy these two together, you'll get also get a free item out of the celebration brochure. All right, there is a phase two of this as well, which is going to be released on the fifteenth of fifteenth um, of February. So there will be, will be some more celebration items released very soon, um, as well as the not the ribbon. That's right, um, ribbon has sold out. It's been very popular. There's a few items which are due to sell out soon, actually. So if there's things you want, grab them, grab them quickly. But yeah, what's that? Um, and there's also the celebration coordinations, which are obviously going to be happening, which are going to be available in March as well. So there are going to be some dies which are going to coordinate with some of the items which are in the brochure. So which is really, really good. So there's a lot of new stuff coming out here. Um, but just bear that in mind. But that things are selling out quickly. Like I say, the organdy ribbon has sold out already and it's not coming back. The papers are a little bit, mm, it's, it's starting to go a little bit. It's it's getting they were really really popular. All right, so page twenty eight, amazing life, and the amazing life bundle here is what we're going to be working with. Well, not the dies though. Okay, so I'll pop up to one side. I'll, I'll just show you the stitch dies here as well. These are the um, these are all the dies which you get. All right, and Jay's done this lovely little. Um, it's just nested them all together with some washi tape on the back here, and numbered them. One, three, three, five, five, seven, etc. down here. And you might be able to see that if I bring that a bit closer. So, and we can quite easily take these off and then put them over a project and see where we're going. We know then what number dies we use to create that frame. So which is coming really handy actually. So it's a really good little tip which we've got here. So well done for that, Joe. It's really, really nice. 
All right, so again, if we wanted to do this nice large one, we know that we need number die number two and die number four to create this frame. So that's really, really good. So a really good little tip. So anyone wanting to do that, yeah, I think that's really, really nice. All right, so let me pop those to one side and we'll crack on quickly. So I've got a few cards which I want to do with you today. And I'm going to do them from scratch as well. So some of them I haven't pre-cut. <laughs> this could be interesting. All right, so let's start. All right, so I'm going to take some, so you'll need some, oh, so you're going to be using the Gingham Gala Designer Series paper pack here, a six by six paper pack. So I'm going to be using the Daffodil Delight, Lemon Lime Twist, um, Highland Heather and Balmy Blue. I've already made the one card, so this is what we're going to be making here, so which is in the Grapefruit Grove um, and the Grapefruit Grove ink and some Memento ink. And that's all we're going to be doing. That's right. All right, so, and I've done this one, and I've stamped the inside here, and happy birthday, and used some of the leftover DSP on the inside. So I'm going to do this in the other coordinating colours which come with that pack, all right? So, let's start with the Daffodil Delight, I think, first. So I'm going to cut, cut my Daffodil Delight at 14.5 centimetres. We're a little bit different here, uh, me and Jay. We cut ours at 14.5 centimetres because it's just a little bit easier. And we score at 10 and a half. It just makes a card just a, a slightly bit smaller than they find, a fraction, so nothing major, which is gonna, gonna impact on anything. It just makes it a bit easier for cutting because it's 14.85 if you're gonna be exact. All right, so there's my card base and scored down. So four, cut at 14.5 and scored at 10 and a half in the middle. I am gonna take my DSP and I will be cutting this at, I'm gonna cut it at 14 at the top. That's gonna to give me a little strip here. And then I'm gonna cut that at 10. And then I'm also gonna cut a strip off. Now I should have done this bit first, actually. I'll do that on the next one. I'm gonna cut one at two centimeters as well. All right, so that's the two centimeter one. And this bit, this bit here, I will use for something else. So that's my DSP cut down to size. Um, and I would also need some Whisper White. And I need that to be cut at. I'm just gonna do some. I need that to be cut at 14 centimeters. And by 10. Okay. So that bit there is exactly the same size as the um, DSP. All right. So that's lovely. Oh, I do need my trimmer again. No, not yet, I don't. I just need to do something else first. Right, so I'm going to mark this here. Now what I want to do is I want to mark on the Whisper White two inches down or five centimeters down, just a little mark along the side here. And I want to do exactly the same along the other side here. And two inches there. The reason I'm doing that is that I want the diagonal here. So if I use, if I, if I, if I do the piece which I want, two little notches there, and then I will just go line that notch up, that pencil mark up here with this one here. And trim. And I've got two identical pieces. So I've got two, I've, I've just cut the diagonal pieces for two cards then. All right, so for the bit I'm gonna be doing afterwards, I've got the two pieces done. And that's gonna be the bit which sits on top like this here. All right, so and that's then gonna go like so. All right, what I will do with the other piece of Whisper White, I'm just gonna cut that one down for the inside part. And again, that's gonna be another 14 by 10. So because I've already cut it at 14 here, that should already be at 14. And then that will then be for the inner part. All right, so I'll do that bit now whilst I've got it. So I'm gonna take the spare piece right here and I'm gonna 
bit of glue on there. Oh, you can hear it, can you, Jay? Sorry, I've got the washing machine on in the background. <laughs> um, and it's decided to do a spin cycle, it's typical, isn't it? All right, so that's gonna go on there. And that just needs trimming down a fraction in a second, but I'll do that in a moment, so that's not a problem. Get the scissors on that one. Okay, and I will stamp, oh, I didn't get that one out. I'll stamp the happy birthday on that one in a moment as well. All right, so let's stick this down as well. So Jay's in the other room taking all comments, so any comments you want, just please ask away, and if I don't miss it on there, Jay will say it. So I don't actually know who's joined us at the moment. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this one down. Like so. So, Alright, so onto the stamping part now. So I'm gonna use the Life's too short to say no to cake. I really like this say it. <laughs> so okay. Gonna... That's better. Alright, and I'm gonna stamp that. Like so. Hi Linda. Hi Sandra. Hi mum. <laughs> I don't know what to call you. <laughs> and we'll stamp the cake. Over, like so. That's it. So that's those two bits there. Um, leave that to one side. And now I'm going to take the coordinating ink with the Daffodil Delight right here. And I am going to, I'm getting the border punch. Like so. And. There we go, like that. Now what I did on my other one is that I, I actually quite liked putting a black layer over the top of it. You could leave it as it is if you want, but I quite like doing a black layer for some reason um, and just offsetting it so it's not able to see what I mean. I just offset it there. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is you could leave it like this if you want to. You could leave it like this um, and keep it really simple. It depends on if you've got the colours. So you could just stick that down and job's done. All right, I'm going to use a coordinating cut ink here and I'm going to just make some little yellow dots. And I'm also going to grab the Wink of Stella pen. So this is the, you can keep this as simple as you want, all right? But I'm saying I'm just just taking up. So a bit of Wink of Stella. I've got, the ink is in the lid here, and I'm just going to use this now just to colour in the cake. Yes, it is going to transfer a little bit of glitter into the lid here, but I'm not too worried about that. So, what's everyone been up to today? Oh. Okay, like an R. And I'm going to cover up the. So I'm going to colour in the cake. Like. So. And let's 
just cover in the flame at the top. There you go. Lovely. I love the Winkersteller pen. And that there is... See that? Right, so the light is a little bit glary there. There you go, you can probably see it a little bit more. So you can see it's got a little bit of shine. All right, and then I will just get the Tombow glue. Pop this back over like that. And that one can sit right there. All right. Um, one thing I haven't got to bear with me. I want the happy birthday stamp. Now I don't normally decorate the inside of cards, but um, I wanted to this time. Birthday. It's not quite straight. There we go. And I'll stamp that in the middle here. Take my snips and just snip off this bottom part, which is just a little bit too big. Glue on the back. Stick that to the inner part here. So you can see everything just coordinates. So we've got some nice paper, ink, and we just made ourselves a really nice little card. Fold that one over, get the bone folder, and there we have it. A nice simple card all right so that's that one so i've got the two i've got one in the grapefruit grove one in the daffodil delights so what i do now is again i'll show you how simple and how quick this is i'm gonna do one i'll do them in the other two colors to start off with so i've got them in highland heather here and i've already pre-cut all of this stuff so i'm just going to glue this one all together for a moment for you Hi Deb. That's it, and um, we're we'll stamp a happy birthday right there. That's the one, so that can just be drying up. Oh, glue. So one thing I like about I really like the colours which are on this um in the Gingham Gala pack where Highland Heather, um, well, I like them all. My, but if I'm going to be honest, my least favourite is the Grapefruit Grove, but then that's just my personal preference. Um, but they are, they're all lovely. I think my favourite might actually have to be this one right here, the Highland Heather. Uh, I haven't actually scored this one. Well, I did, but I actually scored it in the wrong place, so I don't know what I was, what I was thinking when I did this. It's a score at ten and a half. That's it. So bring in the cakes again. Wink up our memento, Jay. <laughs> My head keeps getting in the way, doesn't it? I just caught it then. Sorry. <laughs> the 
just tell me. Just just shout. Put on the comments. Shout, move my move my big head, please. All right, and we'll put the cake over there. See, I'm rushing it now. I'm making mistakes, and we will ink up in the black. So if we didn't have any colours at all and we just had black ink, this is what it would look like. Right there. Here's what it would look like. All right. And but because we're going to use the coordinating ink, and I'll see it just push the centre down if you're new to this transfers the ink over onto the top here into the lids and this is what we would use for picking up with our Winker Stella making sure that you've actually got rid of the previous colour first would be very helpful let me just that's it all right, and we're coloring. I really, I'm, I'm really enjoying this wing for Stella, actually. The, I'm gonna blame Sarah, one of our ladies on our, um, in our Royal Stampers, she used a Winker Stella for one of her demonstrations last year on stage and did things like this. And ever since then, I've not been able to stop winking our projects. <laughs> so Sarah, it's your fault that you're making us buy all of these Winker Stella pins and you're on holiday at the moment. So the chances of you reading this, listening to this is probably very slim. So nobody tell on me, please. <laughs> I can see a cat hovering around. So we might have a cat on the table in the moment. <laughs> and there we go. That's that one there. Um, I will just take the... Take the other stamp there. And I will just offset this. I was, I was sorry, my head needs to come in and get in the way a little bit. Um, let me stand up and do this. Now my head needs to come over for a moment. And we go in there. That's that one right there. He's laughing. He's laughing at my head getting in a picture. So I just keep seeing these symbols pop up every now and then. <laughs> All right, clean that off. And if you wanted to, obviously just to step this one up a little bit, to take it another foot so you can keep it really simple and keep it, keep it all one color. Or if you want to, you can then wink it, or then you can then use some dimensionals here. And we can, Add some of these dimensionals to the back. To give it another, another layer. There's that card right there. So that's so so keeping it just raising it up ever so slightly here. So you can see it's just got a little bit of dimension, a little bit of depth here. Um one thing I didn't do actually, I can still do this, but I'm just very careful. I didn't do my dots. 
I want my dots. This is where I really mess it up now, isn't it? So as long as I don't, because I've got, because I've got it on foam pads, I'm not on a solid surface here. So as long as I don't push down too hard, um, it should be all right. There you go. You can always work through something. There we go. So I've just got my docks. You could do all sorts if you wanted to. You could add some ribbon down here as well if you wanted to. Um, I'm not quite sure if I like the dark on the dark here with this border, but I quite like it on the yellow. I think it's worked quite nicely having the yellow accent behind. And on the grapefruit grave, I think it's quite worked quite nicely. Um, maybe not so much with the Highland Heather. It's there, I probably would have maybe just been fine with just the Highland Heather on that one, I reckon. So that's that one there. So what we could, oh, didn't put me inside him. Not put me inside him. So I'm not used to doing insider cards, so I forget to do it. So this is, um, that's it. Alright, now I was going to do these in the Barbie blue and in the um, and in the lemon lime twist, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go off piece for a moment here now, and I'm going to, I'm going to wing it. Alright, so, because I wanted to show you what you can do, because at the moment we've got these two offcuts here. Um, I've got an offcut there in um, the yellow, and I did have an offcut somewhere in the purple. There it is at the top there. Um, with the Highland Heather so, and the Barbie Blue. So I just wanted to do see if I could do something with this so we could actually get the most out of the DSP. So we've used everything 6x6, six six, this part here and the strip here and I'm now left over with these two pieces. So let's see, I don't know what I'm going to do here actually. I'm completely winging it. Um, I've got a rough idea of what I want to do but I don't know, I haven't planned this. <laughs> So if this goes completely wrong, please bear with me. All right, so what I've done on this particular one is I'm taking the note cards here. So the Whisper White note cards and envelopes, um, they come with for, get 20, 20 note cards, 20 envelopes. So you've got everything which you need right here. Um, and then, yeah, you just crack on. So I'm just going to... Use the bone folder a little bit more, I just want to. And they're already pre scored as well. I just like to use the bone folder just to get a nice crease on it. Alright, and I reckon maybe that can probably go down as a little strip down there, maybe. And then what other sentiment should I use? So, so happy to have you in my life. That might work there with a little strip down or what I was thinking if you use the cakes, maybe. Um, I did actually, I did actually see somebody earlier on. They posted, I'm going to do, I'm going to do something which I saw earlier on. Somebody did something and I really, really liked it. So I'm going to actually just, I'm going to go for it. Right. And if I can remember who it was who I saw this idea from, I will give them credit. Um, but I can't, I can't remember who it was who I saw. All right, so I'm going to put a strip. I'm going to use that off cut down here. Take my scissors, where have I put my scissors? And I'm just gonna cut that excess away. Like that. All right, so that's just given me a strip. 
a strip down here. I'm going to stamp, um, I'm going to stamp happy, I'm going to stamp happy birthday again in this. In the centre, so we keep it on the on the theme which I want for hashtag simple stamping and the theme of birthday. All right, and I'm just gonna stamp that in the middle. All right, and then. Mm, yeah, I did a cake. Bottom. And top. Like that. Um, and again, if you wanted to, you could just leave it like that. I will probably maybe centre those just a little bit better. Um, they're a little bit off. And take the wink of Stella again, and then let's just colour in. There we go. Do one more after this of another little idea which I've got. Just so I can show you how you, you can just get the most out of all your DSP really. So uh, this is quite challenging for us. We're really, I think Joe would agree with me on this, that it's something, paper we buy it and we love it. It's really, really pretty, but we don't use it. <laughs> So we need to make sure we're using our papers more. So, which through this challenge is really, really good for us. So there's another little card right there, Wing of Stella, and that one. All right. So I do the other one with the um, with the yellow. I think I'll finish off the other cards in the green and the blue so you can see them and they tron. But I oh, forget. You don't want to see me making five of the same card. So I'm gonna do let's have a little look at this. So I'm taking those note cards again. How long have I been going for? I'm not sure how long I've been going for at the moment. I haven't put my watch on. Alright, so that one, let's If you can hear that noise in the background, Tom is running around like a loon again. Um, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do the same same layout, but I'm going to use a different stamp. Okay, so I'm going to just <laughs> he's all right. He, he's fine. So let's put that one there. And I'll just cut off the excess at the bottom here. All right, so that's that one. And I'm going to use the I'm going to use the flower here. And what other sentiment can we have on here? Um, Let's have good luck. Let's, uh, I'm going to stamp. I'm going to stamp the good luck in the centre. Sorry, my head's going to have to come over again. Here we go. Good luck in the middle. And 
let's just go with a couple of flowers here. So I've got the So we can grab the Winker Stella one more time. Say, I really like winking. And let's just colour in. Colour in these petals. It kind of, with the colouring with the wink as well, it kind of gives you the wink stellar, it kind of gives you a little bit of gradient because as it starts to run out, it gets a little bit lighter. So it's quite good if you're, with, with your colouring, it can give you, it can give you some quite interesting shading going on as well. You can see I've only just picked up that one little bit on this, doing this, and it's lasted for all of those. Right, I will just come in. I'm just going to grab the lemon wine twist. And I'm just going to colour in the, the leaves. Now what I could have done is I could have actually done the four leaf clover on this one instead of the now because that's what that's also included in this set that's the one let's clear that off and I'll just pick up a bit more and colour in the luck with the yellow And there we go. I quite like that. It's a card inspired by somebody else. It's not. It's not an exact copy, but it's it's inspired by somebody else. I saw that I was looking on Pinterest earlier on, and I quite thought I quite like that layout. And I've actually I've changed it up a little bit, but I'm quite pleased with how that's coming out actually. Um, so that's those ones there, which I've winged, and the original ones. Right here. So out of all of that, the, that piece and that piece are the only two pieces of DSP which I've got left over. So I've used all of it. So, okay, show closer. That's it. I don't like that light there. That's a bit too intense. Let me just turn, I'm just gonna do so. There you go, that's a little bit less intense there. Alright, that one. That one there, you can see the wink on there. And these ones here, which I've then decorated the insides. So, happy birthday. So, I've done those in. The Daffodil Delight, the Highland Heather, and I've also got one in the Grapefruit Grove. All right, and I will do the other two in the Barmy Blue and the Lemon Lime Twist off camera, and I'll post those exactly as I will post those as well when I do the when I do the video when I do the blog for this. So, which will link back to this video and also link back to the pictures as well. So, yes, that's our. Um, let's bring that in shot. That's my little simple stamping for you this week so i've made I've, I've made four cards in what was that it must be around about 40 odd minutes now 45 minutes that's with me waffling as well so you could probably quite easily knock four five six and yeah little, little strips go on the inside on the envelope a good idea wendy all right i'll save those they won't go in the bin i would normally chuck these little things away jay would curse me for that he would be going don't chuck them away you can use them so i'm gonna have to save them now aren't i thank you <laughs> all right so yeah so I, i've done these quite quickly so you like say you can knock these out quite you, you can knock these out really quickly yourselves like i say you don't need to have all of this 
coordinating colours. You can buy the you can buy the inks as and when you can afford to buy the inks. Um, but just go with some note cards, some coloured cardstocks, some DSP, and some memento ink and a stamp, and you're away. And then if you can afford to go for some Winkostella and some ink pads, you can then colour things in as well. Um, one, once you start, you can then just start start putting stuff in gradually into your kit and start building it up. You don't need it all. Well, we do need it all at once, don't we? We're, we're crafters. We just want everything all at once. We just want it, want it now. Um, but realistically, we can't. <laughs> so just start off with a basic, keep it simple, and then build yourself up from there is what I would say. So that's great. Well, I hope you enjoyed that today. Thank you for popping along. Um... And yeah, I will be re I will be here again this time next well, seven I, I will be here on sometime Sunday evening afternoon evening next week hopefully seven o'clock, but I'm not sure what we're doing yet next Sunday so if we're going out again I'll do it earlier, but if not it normally be about seven o'clock on Sunday evening for us in the UK all right thank you everyone for joining me again and I will see you I, I'll, I'll speak to you during the week and on next Sunday. Thank you. Have a good week. Bye.